I'm Chen Fletcher, Marketing Supervisor with Des Moines Park and Recreation. The temps are heating up and so is the action in our parks in July. Have you signed up for our Facebook and Twitter? This is the best way to keep up with everything that's going on this summer, including yoga in the park at Gray's Lake every Saturday from 9 to 10, free flicks at parks across the city, unwind every other Friday, free tennis lessons, and much more. It's not too early to be thinking about sports registration for fall softball and flag football. Make sure to visit our website for all the forms and information you'll need to get your team signed up. Construction is complete on the new clubhouse at Bright Grandview Golf Course. Join us July 10th for the grand opening celebration. Tours of the facilities will start at 5 p.m. with a short program beginning at 6. Watch our website for a special one-day only discounted rate on golf. Beat the heat at any one of our five pools or aquatic centers this summer. Be sure you're ready to go by picking up your season swim pass. Passes are available at the Park and Recreation Administration Office at any pool or aquatic center. Make sure you get yours today. Make water safety your priority this summer and sign your child up for swim lessons. July 21st, 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. is your last chance to get your child registered at any one of our pools. The registration fee is $30 per child and cash or checks are accepted. Financial assistance is available for qualifying families through a program subsidized by Friends at Des Moines Park. Prior arrangements are necessary to receive these benefits, so please call 237-1386. Are you looking for something new to do with the kids this summer? Des Moines Park and Recreation is excited to announce the opening of Sargent Park's Natural Playscape, located near Colfax Avenue and Douglas Avenue. The Natural Playscape gets children back in touch with nature using water, logs, sand, rocks, and more to give them new ways to play. Bring your towel and come play where the wild things are. Watch for more information to come about the park on our webpage, www.dmparks.org. Des Moines Municipal Cemetery volunteer historian Gerald LeBlanc has championed an effort to enhance the historic charm of the entry to Woodland Cemetery located at one of the city's busiest intersections, MLK Junior Parkway and Woodland Avenue. A decorative arch will now span the Vermont granite columns and wrought iron entry gates that have marked the main entrance and will complement the Victorian nature of Woodland Cemetery. The arch will display Woodland's name, date of establishment, and will be constructed of mild steel and much more. The majority of the arch project has been funded through a donation by Mr. LeBlanc, with the remaining expense paid for by his fundraising efforts. The arch will be in place by the end of July and a dedication will take place later this summer. Watch our website for more information about this historic event. The Downtown Dog Park at West River Drive will be opening late this fall. Permits will be required for entry to this park and will also allow access to the Ewing Dog Park. The cost for a new permit is $20 and are available at City Hall. For more information, please call 237-1-DOG or visit www.dmparks.org slash dogparks. Please remember that while you're out in our park system, that the parks and trails belong to everyone. Litter is a huge expense for taxpayers in the city as well. We're asking park patrons and users to help out and keep the parks clean and free of litter. While you're visiting the waiting pool at Ashby, a, a Drake Park for a picnic, or just walking along any of our trails, we encourage you to dispose of your litter properly and carry out trash from city parks. Don't be trashy, keep our parks clean. Pick it up or carry it out. Don't forget, you can know before you go. Sign up to be notified of closures and cancellations via text message. Text any of these keywords to 84483 and sign up to receive alerts from Des Moines Park and Recreation. There is no extra subscription cost to receive these alerts. However, standard message rates and data charges from your carrier may apply.